you're right. We are losing. We've lost 10 years of our lives by virtue of living here. There's a great video I saw today from a pulmonologist, Dr. Arvind Kumar, who talks about the impact of that pollution. And he says, typically, people start smoking when they're in their late teens or early 20s. So by the time the impact of that smoke gets to their lungs and they start to get lung cancer, it takes 20 to 30 years for that impact. They're in their 50s and 60s. But when a child is born in Delhi, they're by breathing the air in Delhi, it's equivalent to smoking cigarettes. So 20 or 30 years of that impact of living in Delhi, he's starting to see lung cancer cases with kids in their 20s now because they've been exposed to this air for 20 years. That's the impact of wow. all this work, what we're breathing over here. That's, uh, and I'm only talking about one pollutant right now, PM 2.5. I haven't even started on the other pollutants like the VOCs, like the gases that we have outside. We have, we've tested for hydrogen sulfide, we've tested for ammonia, we've tested for chlorine, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, ozone. All of these are above the safe levels typically in a lot of Northern India. And this is not just an urban problem in India and Delhi, it's across the board in the country. There's a map which was shown to be by uh, Professor Joshua Apte, one of the leading air quality scientists in the world. And he showed the mortality from particulate matter in the United States and India. In the US, it was mostly blue with shades of pink and little red on the eastern seaboard. In India, it was all red with deep red in, across the indo gangetic belt. So mortality from air pollution is one of the leading causes of death in India. Uh, the health impact of it, the economic cost of it is tremendous. And that's what we need to understand and we need to really do something about it.